When the pressure reaches a certain point, my submarine will implode. This is called estimated crush depth. When submarines are built, they use software to estimate how deep you can go before you reach this critical failure. After they figure this out, they determine what's called the cruising depth. This depth is set at a fraction of the estimated crush depth. So if I have a submarine with an estimated crush depth of 200 feet, its max cruising depth will be 100 feet or even less. This fraction is called the safety margin. Since the beginning of modern submarine design, we have used materials like steel and titanium, which is strong enough to withstand the extreme pressures bearing down from the outside. A depth of 1,000 feet is equivalent to 30 atmospheres, or 443 pounds per square inch. Imagine 443 pounds on one square inch. Multiply this across the entire surface area and you will have millions of pounds. What is great about steel and titanium is they can be modeled in software with high accuracy as they are solid metals, unlike carbon fiber. For more educational content, like and subscribe and see how I built this submarine in the video below.